हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई रिक्रीशन लाइन वाई ऑन एक्स एंड एक्स ऑन वाई फ्रॉम द गिवेन इक्वेशंस करेक्ट क्लियर एंड ऑल्सो फाइंड आर व्हाट इज आर आर इज द कोरिलेशन कोपिशन Okay, all you know that. Now, so here I have considered one question. Question is identify which is regression line of y on x. Y on x. I forget to write. It will be here x and y, x on y. That is the most important part. So if I can rewrite this, it will better for you. It will better for you. So. here we can add that is so here we can write in top y on x and x on y clear so here x is missing so that's why i am writing once again okay one is x on y another one is x y on x okay now another question you have first you have to identify this then you have to find r there is a some connection i will discuss everything one by one so now try to understand the solution if it so there are two straight line you are having please write down the given the given equations are 2x plus y is equals to 6 correct another one you have 3x plus 4y is equals to 5 clear so one this one is one this there is two clear these are the two equation you have to identify which one is x on y and which one is y on x is very simple very simple now i can give you one shortcut process okay so first you have to identify in any equation in which equation your coefficient of x is big that equation you may consider as a x on y in which equation you can see y part is big coefficient of y part is big so that part that equation should be considered as a y on x are you getting a point suppose in this in first equation What about the coefficient of x? That is two. What is the coefficient of y? Is one. Which one is big? Two is big. So you may consider this line as a regression line of x on y. In second equation, what is the coefficient of x? Three. And what is the coefficient of y? Four. So which one is big? Four is big. So you may consider second line as a x on y. is it clear is very simple very simple suppose you have a question in your mind if there is a tie if there is a tie suppose two come a two coefficient and two in that situation you may consider second part you have to decide if you can see there is a deviation then you can decide this suppose if i can consider two and two suppose if we have then we can't decide then you can consider come to the second line suppose here y uh, 4 is big in that situation you may consider this line as a y on x and that line automatically x on y clear is it clear and another option you have another variation you have suppose if you can see any situation that y part is big and second part is also in first equation y part is big and second part also y part is big then how to tackle the situation in my next video i'll discuss so this is also very interesting okay so in this video i'll give the one clarification on one information in my next video i'll discuss <laughs> if there is a tie situation equation number 1 equation number 2 then how to tackle the situation okay so now try to understand is very simple now already have discussed you have to identify 
from first equation or maybe some Frege equation, whatever you have to decide that. And in first equation, what is the which one which coefficient is big? X on Y, it's X. Okay, so you may write let 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 2x plus y is equals to 6 be the regression line of x on y. Is it clear? Is it clear? I repeat once again. It's very simple. It's very easy and very simple. First, you have to identify in first equation which coefficient is big x and y. So here 2 is big compared to 1. Y coefficient of y coefficient is 1. 2 and 1. Which one is big? 2. So that's why we are considering. So this equation as a regression line of x on y. Is it clear? So now from automatically second equation will be y on x by default. So now. So from here if you have if you have considered x on y then you need the, then you can write down 2x is equals to minus y plus 6 then you may write x is equals to minus y by 2 plus 6 by 2 is it clear is it clear so when you are considering this equation as a x on y then your target to express x is equals to something x equals to in terms of y and number is it clear so what about the coefficient of x you have what about the coefficient of a y you have sorry so from here you may write minus 1 by 2 of y plus 3 can you write so this term you may consider therefore b x y is equals to minus 1 by 2 that is what is b x y b x y is regression coefficient of x and x on y is it clear i repeat suppose you have two equation for from first or second whatever there is no issue suppose i am considering first one what is the coefficient of x? 2. What is the coefficient of y? 1. Which one is big? 2. So this equation you should consider as a x on y. So here x is big coefficient. So that's why we are considering x on y. After deciding this from equation you have to find the value of x. x equals to minus y by 2 plus 6 by 2 is very easy. Then you have to identify what is the coefficient of y. So here coefficient of y is equals to minus 1 by 2. So this minus 1 by 2 will be bxy. What is bxy? bxy is regression coefficient of y on x. I think it is clear. Okay, very good. Now come to the second step. So same way, let sorry, let let uh, what about the second equation 3x plus 4y is equals to 5 let 3x plus 4y is equals to 5 be the regression line of y on x y on x why because you can check what is the coefficient of y 4 what is the coefficient of x 3 so 4 is big so that's why i'm taking y on x is it clear still i'm saying if there is a tie in both equation so i'll discuss the process in my next video okay so after that you should write down therefore 4y is equals to minus 3x plus 5 that means if it is y on x y should be on the left also be on the right okay so from here you may write y is equals to minus 3x by 4 plus 5 by 4 so ultimately it is coming y is equals to minus 3 by 4y 
plus 5 by 4. Is it clear? So, here your B yx will be minus 3 by 4. Is it clear? This one. The coefficient of, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So, here it will be x. Sorry, sorry. It will be x. It will be x. Oh, oh. Extremely sorry. Okay. So, this b y x that is regression coefficient of y on x is coefficient of x. This one. Minus 3 by 2. Is it clear? Is it clear? Now, you have to check it. Whether it is correct or wrong. So, what do you know? Please write down. We know that know that b x y into b y x is equals to r square that is a relation important relation this is a correlation coefficient and these two are regression coefficient correct so all you know the range of r what is range of r minus 1 less or equals to r less or equals to 1 what about the r square 0 less or equals to r less or equals to 1 correct so, if I can, if we can see whatever the value we have b y x and b x y satisfying this relation, then only you can say whatever I have considered that is final. Okay. Now, let us see. So, therefore, b x y into b y x. How much is coming? b x y b x y is equals to minus 1 by 2 ok minus 1 by 2 b y x equals to minus so it is coming 3 by 8 it is obviously less than 1 less than 1 because this value basically this value is equals to r square formula wise already have given the previous formula so which is less than 1 isn't it 3 by 8 less than 1 so please write down therefore therefore our assumption is true correct our assumption is true so therefore therefore so, you write down the line 2x plus y is equals to 6. 2x plus y is equals to 6 is a regression line of y, uh, of x on y okay and 3x plus 4y is equals to 5 is a regression line of y on x is it clear so our first part is over regression checking part is over now we have to calculate r okay so r value already we have correct so is it clear is it clear okay very good so our second part you want to find the r so what you what is your r square r square is equals to 3 by 8 clear from here bxy into byx if i multiply which one I will get that is your R square. Okay. Our requirement is R. So, here R will be plus minus root under 3 by 8. Is it? Now, question is which one should I consider? So, please write down. Therefore, R is equals to minus root under 3 by 8. Why? So, please write down because because B x y and b y x are 
बोथ बोथ नेगेटिव इज इट क्लियर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी यू नो बी एक्स वाई एक्स इज नेगेटिव बी एक्स वाई इज ऑल्सो नेगेटिव सो दैट्स वाई योर आर विल बी नेगेटिव इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर If you can see both are positive, then you should consider power plus. Otherwise, negative. Clear? It's very important question. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Please do try to uh, solve some similar type of question. And in my next video, I'll discuss if I have similar uh, tie situation, how to identify regression line. Okay. It's a very simple. first step to identify this second step find checking r okay if your r square is coming less than 1 that means whatever you have considered that is final that is correct okay okay thank you thank you my dear student and please do subscribe my channel it will motivate me it it motivates it will motivate me as well as uh, please share this information to all of your friends so that they can also get some benefit from here thank you thank you everyone